In the short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a text box in Google Document and then be able to rotate that so if you wanted, you could have vertical text instead of horizontal text. So I have a Google Doc right here. And in order to insert a text box, it's a little different than Word. Uh, you have to do it in a separate pop-up, actually. And you get to that by going to Drawing under Insert. So I'm just going to click on Drawing. And here's that pop-up box that I was telling you about. And within this drawing, I am going to insert a text box. So this looks a lot like Microsoft Word. And I am going to just type some simple text in here. Now best practice for me has always been to close the text box almost as much as I can. It's just a little bit annoying to leave a lot of extra text box once you put it into the actual document. So, right now it's horizontal. To make it vertical, I can just grab onto that little circle and rotate it around. And I'm just going to rotate it until I have it perfectly vertical. So, I could switch my font in here and my font size. I'd highlight, and all of those options are available right here. I could even put in uh, fill color and change the font color, all that good stuff. I'm just going to keep it simple for right now. In order to put it into the document, I just click on save and close right there. And there it is in my document. Now, chances are I would have a document with some text and maybe picture and content in here already. So in order to move it around, I'm just going to click on wrap text and then you would be able to move around your text box as much as you'd like and your already existing content would basically just form around this text box. And that would only work if you clicked on wrap text. Break text is another option you can play around with that too. But that would allow me to move it around. Now chances are when it's sitting in here you might not like how it looks. Like it might look like the text is too big or I don't like the font that I used compared to what's already in the document. At any point you can just double click on there and you can edit that text box. It's kind of annoying because you have to edit it in the pop-up but you can edit it and make your changes then just click save and close and it'll go right back to where it was with whatever changes you made. So, feel free to comment or email with any questions you have about that.